I'm Hydelight of ReasonExperts.com. Today I'm going to talk about setting up a delayed global envelope. And in this case, I'm actually using it to create, like, let's say, a morphing type of sound. Um, then, of course, comes the question, like, what is a delayed envelope? Um, I could go for this route. I'm going to go for a combinator patch. I'm going to create a utility. There's going to be a line 14 to mixer right there. And then add four times different instruments. There's going to be one melsum. There's going to be two melsums right there. And three melsums right there. And then four melsums right there. The thing that I'm going to do is solo out the first channel so I can hear what this sounds like. That's my edit of wave right there. Then take the next one, that's going to be that one. Sounds like a sign right now. I'm going to go for a edit of Y3. And then go for the next one. In this case, I'm going to go for something spectral sweeping. Spectral sweeping, that's going to be a spectral sweep right there. And the last one is going to be a random FM generator thing. Why not? Um, right there. Sounding like that. Sounds pretty horrid. I know. While this is all embedded inside of a common error patch, it means that every time that I trigger a key, it will also send out a gate information to the devices that sit inside of the common error. As you can see right there, gate information is being received. As you can see right there, receive notes is on there and there and there. The thing that I could do is uh, I could create a setup where I'm going to delay a CV signal using a audio conversion from audio to CV and throw that against the delay, delay unit. In this case, I'm going to go uh, for a easier setup. That's going to be using Thor instead. And what I'm going to use is the global envelope to delay the incoming CV signal. What I'm going to do is take the sustain all the way down, put this thing in tempo synchronized mode. So I have full control on how this thing acts like regarding the tempo. Uh, I'm going to go for 1 8 notes. That means that the next one is going to have a delay of 1 8 notes. The sec second one is going to be having 2 8 notes. And the third one is going to be having 3 8 notes, etc. That's kind of like the idea that I'm going for. So what I will take is the global envelope that thing goes inside of the, uh, the volume control of the first channel. In this case, I'm going to drop off all these uh, volume controls right there. So the initial sound is going to be silence. But the volume is going to be controlled by using a global envelope setting right there. Right there. This is going to boom, 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 boom. But that's probably not what we're after. Um, the thing I'm going to do next is take a another Thor patch, uh, set the global envelope inside of the next one. That's going to be channel two. But in this case, I'm going to go for a delay setup where the delay is going to be 1 16th note. I'm going to take the attack on 1 16th note. Combination of both is 1 8th. Um, so if I trigger a key right now, I get this. And what will happen in theory is that in theory it goes from channel 1 to channel 2. So I can continue this path, duplicate the Thor patch again. In this case, I'm going to go for 1 8th and then have this thing on. Uh, one eighth right there. So the combination of both is two eighths. Take the global envelope from here and stick that inside of the next channel right there. And now all of a sudden I get. Okay, next one. Copy again right there and then go for three eighths right there. So this thing goes on three sixteenth. That thing goes on three sixteenth. Combination of both is three eighths in total. Toggle back to the rear. Take another global envelope right there and stick that inside of our channel 4. So, there it goes. Now it becomes a... So that's just one way to think about setting up a delayed signal using a global envelope in this whole context. But what's also cool is that I can reuse certain settings to do my bidding if it comes to, let's say, I'm going to control a filter envelope or I'm going to control an effect that sits inside of the same chain and so on and so on. The possibilities over here is endlessly.
small, small topic about using a envelope and delaying that envelope and make use of that whole thing. Have lots of fun and I will talk to you all later.